our dojos cut lonely figures. Where once we fought and grew, there is now empty space. And no way of knowing when we will return. I think one of the things that you know, people have to be aware of is that this might be a situation that lasts quite a long time, but we still need to try and stay positive. We've been trying to keep in shape. Um, it's been tough, but we can only do as much as we can do at the minute. A friend of mine once said that a rut is a very shallow grave. It's going to be so many different challenges for different people. It's the same for everybody, really. Really crazy time. We never faced something like this before. We can't control it. I had some struggle at the beginning, you know. I felt fear, I felt anxiety a little bit. I think I'm still in a little bit of shock. I'm sure everyone's going through the same stuff right now, so I'm just trying to keep a positive mindset and uh, do my part. The buildings, our seats of learning, remain constant, waiting for us. Our senses, keeping a watchful eye those who came before us standing guard, staying strong. If the normal life will come back a little bit, will this also be the same for sports? I saw uh, that there were some countries where you can play golf because you don't have uh, physical contact. But in judo, it's impossible. So will we uh, manage this? That's something I really worry about. Time is passing. The coronavirus crisis is changing life as we know it dramatically tonight. Gyms and leisure centres to close. Breaking news, the 2020 Olympic Games will be postponed for a year because of the coronavirus pandemic. Australia commences stage one of a nationwide shutdown. You must stay at home. The 2020 Olympics in Japan will be postponed. These new restrictions, another example of the enormous impact that this virus is having on all of our lives. The world quiet for the first time. Dreams changed or altered. When I first heard that the Olympics could be postponed or cancelled, I was really shocked because I started to see the whole picture that this thing is bigger than us. It was quite, not emotional, but confronting. For me, it was meant to be the 27th of July, 2020, and that day isn't going to come now. I just never in a million years thought they would postpone it. I was like, there's no way. Every competition, every training program is going towards July 2020. You're a bit like, what now? If everything's been going really well, it's been nearly there, and then that's not there anymore. With that snap of finger, it's all gone. But in our absence, our dojos prepare, transforming in anticipation of our return. And we are preparing too. Great. Okay, we're going to go straight into it. Okay. Jimmy, let's go. Undeterred, we strive, exploring new ways to pursue our goals. These type of situations throw up opportunities that you may not normally take. How are you going to come back a better athlete? Not just as good an athlete, but actually a better athlete. People who are most successful in any walk of life, and particularly in a sport like judo, are the people that adapt to change um, as effectively as they possibly can and stay positive and stay motivated. Separated, we stand together. It's brought a lot of us close together and the judo community, we always knew it was fantastic. We always talk about the family. Sometimes you see the judo family, they say, yeah, well, judo family, but it really is. Just the amount of nice messages I've had and messages I've sent to people just saying, you know, stay strong in this time and we'll all return to, to fighting against each other again. I think in the long term, we're really going to appreciate this time that we have. It's been a time for really taking ownership and really knowing and believing that I'm not just doing this session because a coach is telling me to. I'm doing this session because I want to and I want to better myself. And when we are finally together again, it will be all the sweeter. This is just an opportunity for the ones who are truly destined for greatness to take this and rise to the occasion. I will keep working to get better every day. We have to have that courage and the faith that this time is going to pass, even though things seem really bleak. And on that day, 
we will be ready. The magical thing about our sport is that we have this moral code that is not just about judo, but it's about everything that we take into life as well. And I think the other thing that the moral code of judo does is it grounds us in that actually judo is about much more than medals. It's about the betterment of a person for the benefit of the betterment of society. And I think there's no time like this that that message has been more important, certainly my lifetime. The whole moral code constantly reminds us that actually our striving for excellence is actually just about us challenging ourselves to be better people. And that if we're better people, we can more positively impact the society around us. I think in a time like this, it's really important that our sport has that real solid grounding and foundation with the moral code. If your rivals are going backwards at this point in time, you don't have such a great challenge when you come back to compete against them and without that great challenge you're not pushed forward to become a better human being.